Welcome back to our week two game of the week. I'm Justin, new guy Caden here. I'm Caden, and I'll be here commentating with us today. We got Shellshock versus God versus BMS in a very good game. Uh, very good game. Kind of a different camera line, camera angle here. We're trying to work on something new. Chris Cormier started pitcher on the mound, and he started off with a walk right there. You were behind the plate on this one. What do you think? Yeah, I was behind the plate doing a little bit of umpiring, and uh, he's got some nasty stuff, that's for sure. I'd, it's scary, almost, because it looks like the ball's coming right at you. BMS got a, got off to a pretty good start. Got runners on base. Let's see, pitch, strike three, <laughs> Mr. Cormier. And then they were able to get a walk and score the first run of the game. BMS took a one nothing lead here. Okay. I can't believe that one went fair. What do you think? Yeah, we have a lot of close calls and makes for a fun argument every now and then. Ah! Tell, you, tell you what, uh, Chris did have his good stuff on, on today. Yeah, Caden Beatty starting for BMS on the mound. Started off with a walk, walking Mr. Cormier. And there's Ernie with the base hit up the middle. And they were safe. So just to give you guys a heads up, I am not the best cameraman in the world. That's the reason why the camera's not moving when it should be moving and it's kind of coming in and out of focus. But we're working on it. That's one. Coming into the game, Shellshock has only lost one game. There's a shot by Ernie in the first inning. A grand slam is first this season. And that is just a shot. No doubter. That's five. Down the left field line. Just, just a bomb. Helps them jump out to an early lead and really sets the tone for this game, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, BMS quickly quickly changed the pitcher in there. Ryan threw himself on the mound. Uh, thinking he's going to start uh, changing the way the game is going. There's a little double play right there. Real heads-up play by him. He's out. Now, Chris was yeah, able safe. to move up to second. He did tag from first. Once again, poor camera work. But the runner okay. from second. Runner from first. Runner from first. Yeah. There's Ryan just trying to throw some strikes. Uh, BMS struggled, was definitely struggled early, early on the mound. It was pretty clear as they uh, reached the inning run rule limit there pretty quickly in the first inning. Thanks to the grand slam from Mr. Cormier. Absolute shot. Ryan with a little dribbler. No man's land. So going back to that earlier thought, Shellshock was two and one coming into the game. BMS was actually three and zero. Oh. But we look at the power ranking, Shellshock was number one. Hey, Nicholas. Yeah, I think that they definitely have a very strong no. team, and I do expect them to get a lot of wins moving forward. Yeah, I, 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 I'd, I'd agree with you on that one. Uh, Cormier showed so far that he go. has the potential to be a Cy Young candidate at the end of the year. Really strong pitcher, for sure. So Shellshock's pretty much sitting on a on a 62 lead. They're trying to expand on it. They're here in the bottom of the second inning. Uh, BMS has really really struggled to find the strike zone. I probably already said that, but I can't emphasize it enough. And when they did, they're just lobbing it over, and and they they were hidden. I think me personally, I think it's a could be a strategy to try to lob it in there and trust the defense, especially when it's windy and it's hard to hit home runs. Letting them take some cuts and letting your defense work and try to get some outs, I definitely think that it, it can work. It can also be really bad. Really, really bad as in right there, really bad. Really bad as in... Yeah, know, errors and, and if they do get a hold of it, it it's not good. Yeah. Wind was kind of blowing pretty hard, pretty hard today. Uh, we had some... Balls that probably would have went out had the wind not been blowing, and it doesn't look like it's blowing too hard. But I guarantee you, it gets above us, and uh, it, it the wind just really, really starts blowing. Uh, a nice strike there, strike out ends the inning. Actually, ends the game. Ends Shell the game. Shock wins game one, eight to three. Going into game two, BMS Real. is now the home team here. Caden Beatty's on the mound, starting pitcher again. Uh, Although they, they, they hit him pretty well in game one. Yeah, they hit him pretty good. But again, oh, and a great play by Ryan. And I think, did he double him up there? He I'm pretty sure he up. did. We're going to take another look at that. Great catch. Da -da -da. And then da -da -da. right off of Chris's back right foot, was able to get him for a double play. One of the best, one of the better plays we've seen so far. Now, I will tell you this. In our previous video, Mark Davis's catch 
Oh, that, that, that one goes off the wall. Mark Davis's catch from God Squad actually got into the Snapchatter Sports Center top top five. We're actually number three, so it's kind of a dream come true for any kid. But we do have to mention that at some point. Double play. That was a very good play over there by Cormier to get the double play. Now he gets the ball in the circle with two feet in. That gets the lead force runner out, and then he was able to go over to first base and beat the runner first. So some good defense here on early in the game, and Beatty comes out once again, and Chris just pimps that ball. I mean, do you even know to see how much that bat flipped? This camera angle does not show justice to how hard that ball was hit. It was it was smoked. That was had there been no wind, that ball's probably over the other fence. Plate. Here another walk to two two in a row now. A little, a little ground, ground ball. ball. And he was safe there. I know I didn't quite get it in the corner, but he was safe. They were able to move and the runners were able to advance on the play. Now if ball gets thrown at a runner, it is still live. Uh, which we've made it pretty clear, although some people still think once the ball's thrown, that's it. Ball gets thrown and the ball stays in play, it's still live. Great pitch there by Chris, just showing off his strong arm and breaking. And he tried to turn another double play right there. Wasn't quite able to get it, um, but it was a good, good effort nonetheless. Had a little trouble there in left field. Doesn't end up making the play. Now a lot of ground balls into the left, left side, left corner. And that's a good play. Uh, he got current pretty good for the third out as we go to the top of the third here in game number two. And Caden tried to make a good play there. He couldn't quite get him out. That was a little low. It take, takes it for a walk. And he gets Ernie on the strikeout there. A little dribbler. And everybody's hey, safe. Play. Oh, good effort by Ryan. That was a good effort. Off the toe. And that uh, makes it 3-1 to one as they walk in, the bases loaded. And a good catch over there by Ryan over in the left field corner. Kind of hard to see over there behind that tree from this angle. And then there's another walk making it 4-1. to one. And then there's another one making it 5-1. to one. Game 2, even more the same for BMS. Really hard for them to find the strike zone. And another shot that clears the fence. Ernie with his second grand slam of the day. So now he has eight RBIs and two at two particular bats. That ends up uh, being the inning run rule limit. Now Shell Shock's going for their second one of the series. They're looking to go five and one. They're up nine to I believe it's nine to nine to one. All right, as of right now, good play there by Chris making a good catch. Heads up base running to get back to second. Yes, it was. And another good good defensive play from Shell Shock. We've seen we saw that quite a bit. And as we're talking about good defense, look at this tumble. Just all over the place. Falls on his booty. I will give Steven credit, though. He got the ball in quickly. That easily could have been more runs. He did save it. He saved the play. And going, they... oh, We do like to joke around, and when somebody slips and falls, we don't we don't let them forget about it. Kind of like you in the last video. You hit your butt pretty, pretty hard. The ground yeah. shook when you hit the ground. I took a nice little tumble. To say the least. Now... Going into game number three, Chris was on the mound to start, and that was a great throw. Hosed them at the plate. He gone. <laughs> great throw to beat Ryan for the third out of the top of the first. Now, Chamberlain started started game number three on the mound. Struggled a little bit with the accuracy. And as we can see pretty clearly, he put Kern in, and Chris did not waste time welcoming Kern to game number three. And the other grand slam for Shell Shock. It was his second of the day as well. Uh, first, I believe, of game three, but it made it 4 nothing. And Shell Shock pretty much dominated all the way through. Ernie <laughs> tried to make Ryan drop one there. Good catch. Good catch. Bad toss, a good catch. Then, yeah, there's the, the, the story of the day right there for BMS was, was on the mound. Couldn't hit the strike zone. That one was actually off the wall, stayed in play. Fair ball, base hit. Shell shot going for the sweep, going for the three game sweep. Three game sweep, and to be the only team or first team to five wins in this so far this year. Uh, at, at this point, they would have been four and one coming into the game number three oh now. Goodness. And we did throw Ernie on. They did throw Ernie on the mound in 
in game three pretty early here. And now up to bat Chamberlain. And Kern popped up to Ernie over there right, right behind uh, the pitcher's mound. And a shot by Beattie. So we were, the rest of our video is actually corrupted. Um, we didn't catch the end of the game, but the final score was 11-5 to for a shell shock over BMS. We saw some good play. Um, Fun series, all in all, but... Uh, I think shell shock proved they're the better team and probably one of the best teams in the league, and this was a series where they really showed that. Definitely. They are the team to beat now. Any, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, check out our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. At Leave some comments. WBL. Leave some comments down below. Let us know what you like, don't like, especially the camera angle. Tell me what y'all think of the camera angle. Peace out, guys.